Hello pretties, I have an image here by Andrea, one of our forum members with Pretty Actions. And uh, she's allowed me to use her image and just show you how wonderfully easy it is to smooth uh, blankets with wrinkles with our Lux Newborn Complete Workflow Collection. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Now we've got our image open in Photoshop. I have my Pretty Actions Newborn Collection open. I'm just going to scroll down to my blanket brushes here and we're going to, so we're going to be working with uh, blanket fill. Now, before I run this action, notice in this image you can see all of the fine hairs and the fuzzies on the uh, bear. You have baby's eyelashes here and you really don't want to risk um, painting over part of baby or those fine details on the bear. So in order to make uh, those fine selections, there's actually an extra step that you can take to make your image just look that much more uh, perfect and refined. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look here. I'm going to start off with duplicating my background layer and I can just click and drag it to um, the bottom of my layers panel and drop where you see the folded corner, the icon with the folded corner. Or you can just simply select your background and up in your top menu layer, go to layer, duplicate layer. You can rename that if you'd like. I'll just rename that selection so we don't get confused here. And I'm going to grab my quick selection tool. If you don't see it, right click in your tools panel and click on that click quick selection tool. Okay, so essentially I'm just selecting baby and bear here because this is where I don't want the color to appear when uh, I'm painting to smooth over the wrinkles. Now notice here in my options panel, I have a brush with a plus sign and a brush with a minus sign. So if I select the one with the plus sign, that's going to expand my selection. And I can just click and drag to keep expanding that uh, selection. And you can notice the little marching ants, we'll call them, um, just surrounding my subject here. And that's, um, or the baby rather, and that's what our selection is. So notice how I had overly selected and I have some of the floor selected here. So I'm going to click on the brush with the minus sign to take part of that selection away. You kind of have to work at the, the selection sometimes and go back and forth just to perfect it, um, depending on how easy it is to see the transition between um, the your subject and the background. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep working at this here. Notice I grab the brush with the plus sign again so I can expand my selection. And you can go ahead and fast forward if you don't want to watch me make the selection, or you can keep watching just to see really what, um, you know, what it looks like to make the complete selection. It's not too difficult, but again, you do have to kind of go back and forth between the plus and the uh, subtraction brushes to t kind of take away and add a little bit as needed. Now, it's better to under select than to over select because once we under select, we're going to go and select our refine edge button here to really grab all of those fine details and those fine hairs or fuzzies as we're seeing in the teddy bear here. And I'm just clicking um, around the ear. Now, I don't want to edit uh, to select all of that, so I'm going to undo that last selection there. And I'm just gonna keep clicking here to expand my selection. Okay, and I'm just gonna skip through the rest here real quick, guys. Okay, so at this point we have a really nice selection. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Refine Edge button up here in our Options panel. Okay, so notice here we have our Refine Edge pop-up menu. And up at the top you'll see the view mode. I usually like to have this and view it on white or on black. This is simply how you're viewing your selection. So we'll keep that on white just for an easy, um, 
to be able to easily see what we've selected. Okay, so next under edge detection, I'm going to select smart radius. I usually bring that radius up to about two. Um, our smoothness will bring up to six. Uh, feather, I like to bring up to one and contrast to two. Now you can come up with your own combination or just use the uh, combination that I've entered here. Now notice I have a brush already here and in our options menu, I have an option to click on the size and make it larger or smaller. Now you do want to work with a smaller size, size brush to get that really intricate detail. You'll end up losing that if your brush is too large, so be careful of that. So notice I'm gonna brush over here where baby's lashes are. And it does take a minute to load, so once it's loaded, you can now see that uh, baby's lashes have been selected. And I'm also going to brush over the fuzzies on the bear's ears here, and essentially it will be brushing all around the edges of the bear, so. And once you re release your click, You'll, you'll notice that you have a new selection. Notice all of those fine hairs that are being selected. So this is going to be really, really key to getting that nice, crisp edge and the clean uh, look when we use our action. Okay, and we'll go ahead and record a little bit more here and then I'll skip to the end of my selections. Okay, so again, essentially, I'm just making sure that we're getting all the little fine hairs here. And I'll be going over baby as well. Okay, and I'm about done here. I'm not too worried about the bottom because I'm not going to be painting on the bottom of the image, just the top um, third of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Now we're going to invert our selection. I'm just going to right click anywhere on my image and select select inverse. Okay, so now that my selection has been made, we're set and ready to go here. I'm just going to click blanket fill. I still have my second layer selected. Okay, and press play. And we're going to let the action do all of the hard work for us. Continue. Our color picker box will pop up. Okay, now I can pick the color that I want to use when I smooth out the wrinkles. I usually like to click on a lighter to a mid-tone uh, available in my image already. So I'm just gonna click around and you can see a preview of your color up here where it says new in the color picker box. So I like this color. I'm gonna press okay and the action has run. Make sure you have your brush selected. Again, just right click. If you don't see it, select brush tool. I like to usually work with a lower opacity. I may have to work my way up just to really smooth out those wrinkles in some areas, but uh, I'll save that for the end here. So notice what happens when I start brushing. We'll see that smoothing out. Notice what happens when I brush over the bear though. See how nothing is being applied to the bear or baby? Now if I first had not made that selection that I just took you guys through, I would have to be super, super careful with not getting this on the hairs and all those fine details. And it actually would have ended up taking longer than just making a simple selection. So huge lifesaver. It does just take a minute or two, but if you don't do it, it will definitely take you longer. So try to get some practice in with making that selection. See how easy this is? I'm just painting right over the baby here. Now, with my selection that I had made, it was a little bit sloppy uh, over here towards baby's hand uh, and uh, some of the blanket wasn't selected here. I can go over that uh, in a moment. Okay, so I am just gonna keep brushing over these areas with the obvious uh, wrinkles. And it is like art, you know, you just keep painting and forming um, your vision here until you get that look that you were really going for. 
Okay, so things are starting to smooth out and look really nice. And you may notice imperfections in your selection, and I'll show you how to fix that here in just a moment. Okay, and we're gonna fade the selection over here between the wall and the blanket. Okay, and again, my selection wasn't really super careful over here on the baby's arm, so you'll wanna be a little bit more careful with the initial selection than I had been. Now that I've made my selections, I'm going to go ahead and run that blanket fill action one more time. Continue, okay. I'm going to click on the same color that we just painted. And now that I don't have a selection, anywhere I paint is where the color will be applied. So I can just paint that. Now if you accidentally get some on baby, like I just did, it's a layer mask, okay? so. I can just bring uh, black to the foreground color because when we're working with layer masks, black conceals. If I do that, I'm not painting black on baby, I'm just removing the enhancement, okay? That's how brushes work. When you paint with white, you're revealing the enhancement, and when you paint with black, you're concealing it. Remember that, black conceals and white reveals, and you'll do just fine. Okay, so now I'm ready to kind of fade the background into the um, blanket here. So to do that, I'm going to click on blanket fade, or rather, let's see here, chain blanket to wall transition. That's what I want. And I'm going to pl press play. My color picker box will, I can't talk today. <laughs> My color picker box will appear. And I usually like to click a tone that's a little bit slightly darker, so uh, I'm just going to click on the actual color box here and make it a shade darker. Press OK, continue. Here you definitely want to use a lower opacity as well. Make that brush nice and large. And it's nice working on a, a new layer here, because here's our new action in our layers panel. And I'm just going to click once, twice, three times. There's not a specific recipe. You just want to click until you're getting that really nice uh, fade. And we're going to work back and forth on it. Let me go ahead and bring black to the foreground color. And we're going to take some of that away here. Okay, until we notice that we're getting a really nice fade. Now, keep in mind, with this image, notice we had made all of those changes before editing the image. There's absolutely no edits on this image whatsoever except for the uh, blanket brushes that we had just used. Okay, so at this point, I can now go in and edit my image. Um, let's see here, so I'll go ahead and choose Kiss Away the Red and press play. We're just gonna use a few actions on this image. And we're gonna bring that brush opacity back up to 100%. We're just gonna brush over some of the redness. Now keep in mind, this hand still definitely does not look perfect. I just wanted to create a super quick video for you guys, so you'll just wanna be a little bit more careful than I had been. Okay, so that looks pretty nice. We've been able to uh, take away some of the red, maybe a little bit of purple on baby's tush. Okay, notice the before and after there. Okay, now before making any overall enhancements, I'll want to flatten my image. I'm going to click on layer and flatten image. Okay, and I'm going to click on my soothing mixer so I can have a real quick preview of all of the pretty enhancements that I have available in this collection to enhance the overall image. Okay, so I can click on the little eye next to each one and see, oh baby is definitely my favorite. That's the one that we just clicked on right there. I love, love, love this one. Um, sweet tone, so you've got quite a bit to pick from. 
we'll go ahead and choose Oh Baby. And you can definitely mix and match as well and turn down the opacity if it's a bit too strong. Okay, so let's keep going down the list here. The last thing I want to do to this image is add a nice creamy vignette. So under Fresh Finishers, I'm going to click on Choose Your Vignette and press play. I'm gonna open that up and we'll click on the Oatmeal Vignette. Okay, we can click on it and bring that opacity down. I like to bring mine down to zero and just work my way up until I find that it's working best for that image. Okay, so I just wanna add a little bit more. Let's go ahead and click on Cool Haze and just bring that opacity down a little bit. Okay, and notice how nicely this image came together. It definitely does not look like I painted uh, directly onto the image because you can see all those beautiful fine details coming through in the bear and on baby with baby's lashes. Again, the arm isn't quite perfect. I just wanted to breeze through this video here with you guys and just show you how nice and crisp your selections can be with those blanket brushes. I'm just getting a really nice clean image. Thanks for following along guys and have fun editing.